hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to be creating a envelope flip book with you guys i posted on my previous video a flip book i don't have it right now because i've actually wrapped it up to send it to the recipient but it was something along the lines like this one where you have your little envelopes right here and you just like stuff them these are all your little envelopes so I just want to show you guys how I created this so what we start off with are some envelopes of course and the envelopes that I purchased are the recollections value pack envelopes and they're 4.3 by 5.75 you get 50 pieces and it's that craft type of paper so what we do is we get our four envelopes you can do three if you want I've never seen well I think I've seen three but I've never seen more than three or like more than four but I think you can do as many as you would like but we're gonna do just four here so you get your envelopes and what we want to do is create the, the little I think it's called the gusset right here just to give it room for you to be able to stuff your flip book so that's what we're gonna do I've already done one as you can see right here I scored it right there so therefore now it just like props up like that and it doesn't like fold over and look weird if you don't do that you can kind of like tear your paper so it's kind of like a good way to secure your happy mail and make it just look cute and nice and everything stays in place so that's what we're gonna do right now I already did this one you're gonna grab your scoreboard and you're gonna take your envelope and you're just gonna score this part right here at a quarter an inch and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it and there you go so you're gonna do that with all four of your envelopes and I'm only gonna be creating the base with you guys I'm not gonna be decorating this one I just wanted to show you guys how to make the base and then you guys can decorate it however you like so now that we got all our four envelopes scored let me move this out the way we're gonna put it together And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use I'm using my ATG gun you're gonna put some adhesive right above your score line and then you're gonna place your envelope right above that score line I'm a perfectionist you guys so I have to always make sure that everything is like super even and a lot of the times the envelopes are not as even so you have to work with the way the envelope is and then I'm gonna just grab my bone folder and make sure that everything is laid down nicely and you're gonna do that with each and every one of your envelopes once again right above your score line and then we're going to put the envelope right on that don't be a perfectionist like me you guys it could get so annoying sometimes and then your last one I 
I hate when I'm trying to be super quiet with this um adhesive at nighttime and it's like so loud you guys okay so we're going to place this one right there make sure everything is laid down properly and then when you close it up also make sure that all your creases I like to make sure that all my folds Done. And there you go. See, there's your base for your envelope flip. When you close it and decorate it however you'd like. Now, as far as covering the the envelope pockets, that's up to you, however you want to do it. I like to mat it. You see, I mat them all. And for this particular one, I want it to be obviously the craft paper, but I also want it to be black and pink and white. So what I would normally do is these are four by five and a half little sheets. So if you get these same, these same envelopes, that's the size that you would use. And then I just attach it right here in this form. I'm not going to attach it because I'm not sure kind of the way I want them yet. But that's how you would put them on each little thing. And then you have your envelope clip right there. So, yeah, what you also want to make sure you do is that you have, well, I don't. you don't have to. I like it to have the same color on this side and this side just so that it's the same thing on the same side it looks and then you can do the different on the inside but yeah you guys I'm not sure if I'm only gonna use this paper because I'm using the hold on a second the get glam paper pad by recollections as well so I might pull out some more papers and kind of make it a variety and a real girly flip book but I hope you guys get the gist of how you make these. It's super easy. I'm sure you guys can do it. And yeah, that's going to be my video for today. I just wanted to get that out there because a lot of people were asking me to show how I get the base of the flip book. And um, I wanted to share with you guys real quick another project and see if you guys wanted for me to create one of these on camera. This is what it looks like. And when you open it up, you have like a little waterfall effect right here. And if you guys want to create one of these with me, you got a little pocket right here on a craft with me video. Let me know down below and I'll be glad to do that on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.